Today in this video I propose you to do an exercise which is to navigate with your GPS to a web point that we will create by using UTM coordinates. So what does UTM stands for? Well on this top 25 map the UTM grid is a grid of 1 km by 1 km square and in order to know exactly which grid is the UTM one on your map you can just refer to the instruction manual of your map so here on our uh, French map is written that the UTM grid uh, is the blue one. What is important is to know in which area of UTM your map is. So here we see in the corner that the UTM uh, grid we have is the 32 one. So what we're gonna do now is try to locate precisely the car park, which is there. This car park is the start of the hike we did last Tuesday with the monitors. And to do that, first I need to find the origin of the small square of 1km by 1km. So that's the bottom line here. I go on the left and I can see these numbers 5098. So first of all, I will remind what is the UTM zone where we are. So it's the zone 32. And I will write the ordinates 5098 kilometers. Then I will look for the abscissa, so it's the left uh, part of the of the square. I go up here and I see 338 kilometers. Then I just have to find the last uh, hundreds of meters inside my square. I can use either the centimeters here on the edge of my compass, either the scale, uh, which is exactly the scale of my map here on the C300 compass. So to find the abscissa, I put my zero on the left and the 1km on the right. And I can see that my car park is around 700 meters, maybe 750. Then I will uh, finalize the ordinates. So I put the zero of my compass on the bottom line and the one on the upper line. And I can see here that's my car park is around uh, 600 meters. Once it's done, I can enter these coordinates in my GPS. So now here I will use uh, eTrex 10. Um, why I take the eTrex 10? Because this uh, GPS does not have any maps inside. It just have a basic worldwide map, which is not very useful. So that's why UTM is very important for this kind of GPS. First of all, I need to change the uh, coordinates of my GPS because it was using here degrees and minutes. So I can choose several uh, units here. I will go up to reach the bottom parts of the units proposed by the Trux 10 and I select UTM. I press back, I exit the setting menu and then I will go into the go to menu. I select coordinates and here I can enter precisely uh, the numbers I have noticed on my paper. So the UTM zone is 32T and here I have the abscissa so it's a 338 you should understand 0338 so I let 0, 3, I put 3 and 8 and then I have the last meters 750 then I will write the ordinates. So 5098 and 600 meters. I press done and that's it. I can see the direction to my waypoint. I can zoom in a little bit. I can recognize uh, the hedge here, which is the border between France and uh, Switzerland. And I can see here on my compass, so I have the main direction to uh, my final waypoint with the distance here, 21 kilometers. So now to show you that uh, we have done properly our exercise, I wish I will show you on um, the Atrex 20X, because this uh, GPS has a map, uh, that our uh, car park is located at the right position. Uh, just to tell you more about uh, UTM navigation and uh, the added value of it, you just have to imagine that you are trekking 
in the mist or uh, in the snow and you need to find the shelter which is not on the initial track that you have uh, recorded on your system. So here to show you that uh, that's the right place I've already registered the, the waypoint in the E-Trex 20X uh, by using exactly the same exercise and the same coordinates and here with the joystick and can uh, move into my map and I will look for my waypoint and see if the waypoint is in the right uh, position close to the road. So I zoom in here and yeah you can see that the car park is uh, in the right turn here on our map. That's it.